So, did you find a couple of blokes have got your back? Actually, I did. Great. Are you ready to move forward then? Remember, once you make this decision, you can't go back and change your mind. Besides, there's no time for that with your championship deadline approaching, so you better be absolutely certain. I hope you're right, for your sake. The Hurt Business has arrived in style to Monday Night Raw. Whoa! The Hurt Business is getting ambushed. They were not expecting this. MVP into the side of the limo. There's broken glass everywhere. We heard rumors that a new faction was forming to take on the Hurt Business, and this must be it. And Broad Breakers tossed headfirst into the limo. This is pure chaos. Not so fun now that I've evened up the sides, is it? I'm coming for this title, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Now what? I think they're gonna flip over the limo. This is insane. <laughs> The Hurt Business, Shawn Michaels, and all of WWE, for that matter, has been put on notice. I can't believe this group that's been assembled. This next month is going to be very interesting.
So far, so good. I knew you'd make a great leader. Also, I'm enjoying a new bus. I could get used to this. Fair enough. Well, more motivation, I guess. You think you're ready for the big match later tonight? I think so, but it's our first time teaming together in an actual match. Even though we looked good earlier, it might take us a bit to gel. I hear you, but you better get it together fast. They're a well-oiled machine, and I have a feeling Shawn Michaels is going to strike back in some way. Be careful. Thanks. We will be. new faction in WWE is ready for their in-ring debut. The following contest is a six-man tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 702 pounds, Tiger, Goldberg, yeah. and Seth Rollins. We've already seen what this crew can do in a parking lot, but this is our first real look at their in-ring chemistry. The former lock worked tirelessly to put this group together. Let's see if the hard work pays off. No traces of their parking lot pounding in that hurt business swagger. They're red. And their opponents at a combined weight of 709 pounds. Slade MVP. And Braun Breaker, the Hurt Business. The former Locks brand new faction has already put the Hurt on the Hurt Business once, but this match will be a taller order. And the orders don't get much taller than Slade, Braun Breaker, and MVP. earlier tonight that sent shockwaves through WWE. The former Locke leads his two new allies against his previous faction in a dramatic three-on-three -three match. Do you hear that, Cole? That's the sound of the SummerSlam deadline getting closer and closer. The new faction leader can't afford to lose any ground against the Hurt Business. And I bet Slade and company would love nothing more than to crush their former teammates' momentum. Not to mention paying back for that little visit in the parking garage. to the lower body. Right on point. Bump knees into the face. Able to elude it. Standing Spanish fly, are you kidding me? Incredible. Oh my god, a DDT spike! Right, oh, double knee face breaker! Running swan time! He's fighting hard and it's paying off. Yeah, he's fulfilling his game plan to the T. Lost body! Placed in the corner now. Oh, my God! Just 
almost defenseless as the momentum is against him. Yeah, and this has to decrease his composure moving forward. Look at that intensity just pulsing out of Goldberg. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. Plants him. Nicely done. Oh, God. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Imagine having to continue competing after eating the apron like that. He's in a little bit of trouble now. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Belly to belly! The WWE Universe rumbling with excitement as Goldberg goes to work here. attack from Goldberg. Goldberg's gonna break someone in half. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing and it could cost him. Here he comes off the tag. Single leg drop kick caught him. some time to, well, who knows what his thought process is at this point. Tag made, tag made. Caught with a lariat. <laughs> Breaker making clear he has his number. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash! He's lost some of his win now. Ooh! Breaker sidesteps out of that. Single leg drop kick caught him. Tag. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. Check out this power. Are you kidding me? Yeah. A deadlift. Boom! 
the chest of their opponent. This is brutal. Beats it the Start counting, Saxton. One, two. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. Oh, man. Oh. Look at this. Clutching the wrist. Oh, my God. Torturing their opponent. Just mangling the opposition. Oh, ow. Oh, what a neck breaker. Turning it around into a... Butterfly suplex. Oh. And more attacks to his core could hinder his offense. Punched to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. <laughs> Toss to the arm drag. The close of this match is just ahead. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Boom. Kick and sent all the way to the outside. Look out! Oh. Hurricane Not even missing a beat. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Gets tossed into the ring. Yeah. Drop kick hits hard, lands harder. Hits to the core like that will render you useless. Producing some overwhelming offense. He's mixing precision and physicality with his attacks here.
he's taking on a persistent assault. He's got to reevaluate his approach at this point. He made the tag. Cooking with gas now. A running high Colorado. Beautiful. Kidding me. It appears Evolution has officially joined forces with the Hurt Business. Unbelievable. Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Or, in this case, two of the most powerful factions in WWE. I mean, just when you thought you had evened up the sides, we were two steps ahead. So, good luck winning the championship, saving your career now. And the WWE Champion nails the Slade Runner. The Hurt Business started this night on their heels, but now we end the night looking at a brand new super group led by Shawn Michaels, more powerful than anything we've ever seen before. You have to feel for the former Locke, who looked to have captured momentum in his quest to win gold and remain in WWE, but now he has suffered a major setback. Let's be real, guys, this is more than a setback. It's a career-ending roadblock. We've seen him overcome long odds before, but I agree, this does not look good. Tough night out there. We'll catch up back at the bus. <clears throat> what do you want? Just came to check on you. And let you know that it's over. <laughs> you lost. It's not over yet. I still have time. Maybe. But how do you think you're gonna get another WWE Championship match. I hold all the cards. I have a proposal. Next week, I'll take on someone from your new super group. If I win, I get a title match at SummerSlam with a chance to beat the deadline. And if you lose? Then we can forget about the deadline. I'll leave WWE immediately. So, basically, if things go our way, and they will. I can get rid of you sooner than I planned? I like the sound of that. You have yourself a deal. So who am I gonna face next week? Let's keep that a surprise. But I will give you a heads up on one thing. The match is gonna be no disqualification. So good luck stopping us.
is the superstar who's fighting for his life in WWE. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Calcutta, India, weighing in at 215 pounds, Tiger. With a win, the former Rock gets exactly what he needs, a WWE Championship match versus Slade and right at Shawn Michaels' SummerSlam deadline. But a loss sends him packing from WWE forever. Hopefully Tavish has a spare couch ready. through the roof. A no disqualification match with no future in WWE if he can't break the breaker. On the flip side, if he can't find a way to beat the big man, the former Locke will earn his long-awaited title match against Slade with a chance to beat the deadline at SummerSlam. What a night. to the floor. Great. Saving us from having to sit through that. Looking to take flight here. Soaring. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Breaker. This match is spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Oh, into a power bomb. What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. This is just brute power. What a German suplex. An imposing array of offense from him here. This is what he feeds off of. And what's he looking for here? Bringing a steel chair into play here. Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. Oh, into a powerbomb. A powerbomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. Incoming offense. Brief sign of adrenaline from Braun. <laughs> Just breaking down the opponent. He's getting pushed out of the defensive. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Able to sidestep it. And there was some force on that move. Falcon arrow. Oh my gosh.
He is obviously taking way too much pleasure in this right now. He returns to the ring. Chair to the gut, softening him up. Braun's opponent is taking advantage of this no disqualification match. Shawn Michaels is here to also take advantage of the lack of rules. Michaels is calling in the cavalry. This is going to be a repeat of last week. How can anyone stop this super group? But where are they? That's one way to stop them. Have your faction take them out before they can get to you. Smart move by their leader, but can he capitalize and win this match? Randy Orton's here and he has no idea. Low blow from Orton. The Vipers lining up an RKO. And just a reminder, this is all perfectly legal. Wait, what? Where did he come from? That's international star Chosen. It looks like the former Locke had an ace up his sleeve. But Braun Breaker has recovered, and he's got a kendo stick. Oh, he reverses. Now he's battering Braun Breaker repeatedly with that kendo stick. Wait, is he setting up Braun Breaker for his own move? And he locks it in with the kendo stick. Can Braun Breaker hold on? He can't. Braun tapped, it's over! And more importantly, he lives to fight another day and will take on Slade for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam. Somehow he found a way to pull this out and now he has an opportunity to strike before the championship or bust deadline expires. We'll see about that, but Shawn Michaels and company can't be pleased with how this turned out. They thought they were putting this all to an end and instead, the fate of this man and the WWE Championship will be decided at SummerSlam. Big one out there, but bloody hell, you didn't think to tell me about Chosen? I thought about it, but then I also thought it'd be more fun to pull a Tavish on you. Not the same. You don't know how to do it, Tavish. Either way, I couldn't risk it getting out. We needed any advantage we could get against them. Well, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I have a message from WWE management. What does Shawn Michaels have to say for himself now? No. Not Sean. This came directly from the top. All this faction warfare has been big for ratings, so they want to see it continue. There will be a faction versus faction match to determine who gets to pick your stipulation at SummerSlam. Our side against Sean's. War games. We've already been in a battle. I guess now, it's time to go to war. Did you see I'm the number one trending topic? What a WWE debut for Chosen. Yeah, that's great. But more importantly, you helped me live to fight another day. So thank you. Where I've been watching you get beaten up so much, and you seem so desperate. When you reached out asking for help, that it was kind of a no-brainer to come save you. Yeah. Well, thanks again, I guess. Anyway, I don't know if you heard what Tavish said. I was standing five feet from him. Of course I had. Your tour bus is kind of small, actually. Noted. Point is, I need one more team member for the War Games match. You interested in sticking around? Of course. Have to keep the buzz going on social media. And to help you, too. All right. Let's do this.
The following is a Miz War Games match. The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins. The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage will result in a forfeit. Now, let the War Games begin! Every war needs a hero, and you might be looking at him. It's the former lock. Introducing first, from Calcutta, India, weighing in at 215 pounds, Tiger. After everything he's been through, I'm starting to think this man is indestructible. Well, there's nothing like the chaos and carnage of war games to test that theory, Saxton. For battle, it's time for war. He's the WWE champion and he's ready for war. It's slain and from Columbus, Ohio, weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE Champion, Slay. There's nothing playful about tonight's War Games, Corey. It's pure warfare, especially if you're facing off against Slade and the nightmarish battalion around him. Prime to continue his career changing momentum. I didn't think it was possible, but the road to SummerSlam keeps getting hotter and hotter. Getting explosive twists and turns every week. And incredible athletes like Japanese phenom Chosen, who's suiting up alongside the former Lock tonight in one of the most anticipated War Games matches in WWE history. Uh, my question, is Chosen even allowed to compete in WWE? All's fair in love and War Games, Saxton. Both foursomes are clearly willing to do whatever it takes with the WWE title match's stipulation hanging in the balance. Let the games begin. Spanish Flyer, are you kidding me? Incredible. Sent into the corner. This is an absolute striking clinic. How are we gonna end it? Tiger fake kick too? Picking up speed. Turned inside out with a clothesline. Counting down the seconds until this match becomes a bit lopsided. Answering back. Being let loose to surely become the tide turner for their team. Officially in the fray. It pays to be coming in and have more friends than foes in the cage. He just got 
sent flying into the opposite ring. Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he... Searches under the apron. Adding some extra spice to the numbers advantage by coming in armed to the teeth. I'm oh, gonna tap out here, but it ain't gonna matter. Still do a lot of damage though. Oh man, that was a thing of beauty. Ready right to a snapmare. Arm control applied and a tossed clear across that gap and crashing down into the opposite ring. He begins to climb the wall of the War Games cage. He's able to sidestep there. Oh, man. And he's able to fight Priest off. Into the cage now, and the numbers advantage is locked in. Clock counting down, a sigh of relief can surely be breathed once the next competitor enters. DDT! Spike, gotta minimize the damage now. Go help your teammates immediately. Neckbreaker into a... Nice takedown. This won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. It's a roundabout strategy, but it might work. Entering the ring now, hoping to give their squad some relief. Into a backbreaker. Looks like he has 
something playing with his table, guys. now he's burying elbows in the midsection bam canceling that move with a neck breaker and with his coming entrant the teams will officially be evened up setting up for something here and he's able to count another warrior thanks for coming into no man's land. Look. 
velocity that is flat. This ends right here. He's got him up. Breaker wants his opponent to know they're in for it. Seeing right now, no one can. He breaks the ref's count after one. Not quite enough to put him away. Oh man, just a blazing challenge. Trying to provoke an incredibly rash reaction, and they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Face first into the chair. It all comes down to this. Win the title at SummerSlam, and you're golden. Set for life, probably. Lose? Eh, well, you're finished. Done. Ruined. Gone forever. What happened to the Tavish who once told me there was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE? I'm trying a different approach. Is it working? Not really. All right. Have you decided what type of match you're going to pick? Because I was thinking... You should choose the safe match. As in, like, the safe choice? I'm not sure what that would even be. No. I mean a new match type I came up with called a safe match. You win by locking your opponent in the safe that you had in your WWE debut. Everything comes full circle. It's called long-term storytelling, mate. <laughs> Do you love it? I'm not sure. Well... If you can't make up your mind about the match type, we at least need to know who's going to be in your corner. The faction started a pool on who you're going to pick. Go with Chosen, and drinks are on me. I'm going with Chosen, and not for the free drinks. I've had all the momentum since he came in, and I want to keep that going at SummerSlam. I'll be out there with you in spirit. And speaking of spirits, I'm going to collect my pool money and hit the pub. I'll save you a seat.
It's been a bit, but here we are, wrapping things up with SummerSlam approaching. You mean you're not going to follow me around the rest of my career? <sighs> Everything has to come to an end. I mean, I know viewers think they want a super long story that goes on and on forever, but really, isn't something shorter with an actual ending better? It's like you have this cool experience, and then you can go watch something from the women's division, right? Anyway, we're getting off track. SummerSlam's in LA, of all places. <sighs> I know. It's a chance at redemption on so many levels. I'm back in the main event, but instead of a bunch of empty seats this time, we're the biggest thing in town and it's sold out. It feels good. What about the match stipulation, though? I might be reading into this too much, but are you putting off making a decision because it means the match is officially here, and if you lose, you'll be faced with leaving WWE? I hadn't thought about it like that, but maybe you're right. There is a small part of me that knows, despite how hard I've worked to get here, that it could all come to an end. And that's scary. Makes sense. But what are you going to choose? You're going to have to announce it sooner than later. If you need an answer, it's going to be an Extreme Rules match. I don't want any restrictions stopping me from doing whatever I need to do to beat Slade, win the championship, and hang on to my job. Solid choice. And if this is it, well, it's been fun. And weird. Mostly fun, though. Hope to see you around. Around here, I mean. Yeah. You too, Kat. So final thoughts heading into SummerSlam. Will you walk away champion and end your former friend's WWE career? Or will he somehow overcome the odds and beat the deadline? <laughs> Are those the type of questions you typically ask? If so, I'm glad I haven't wasted my time doing more of these. But if you need an answer, The Lock is going to be looking for a job after SummerSlam. And let's get one thing straight. We were never friends. But I will take this opportunity to thank him. See, if he hadn't been such a failure and blown every opportunity that was handed to him, I might not be where I am today. So thanks for that. Confident, despite the fact that you didn't get to even choose the match stipulation. I don't care what kind of match it is. It could be a blindfold match, a, a, a lumberjack match, or a freaking padlock on a pole match for all I care. They all end the same. I win. Hey, we're on a tight schedule. So we need to make a call, one way or another. <sighs> Understood. No idea why Shawn Michaels' supergroup is assembled here, but I guess we're about to find out. Slade, I know this might be a bit uncomfortable, but it's time to do what we discussed. Bear with us. We have some business to take care of. What is going on here? I have a bad feeling about this. I know we talked this over. And now that we're out here, it doesn't feel right. Slade, we've been over this already. Just do the right thing. I can win the match at SummerSlam. Just give me the chance. It's been decided. We're going with Randy instead. So let's take care of this before it gets any more awkward. I know I can get the job done. I really didn't want to do this in front of the entire world. But if you need me to explain why you can't get the job done, then I will. For starters, the night the lock returned to WWE, you overruled me by facing it. And then I had to intervene to save your championship. Or 
How about the time you got beat down backstage? Which allowed this SummerSlam match to even happen in the first place. Or, more recently, when our factions battled in war games, you lost, allowing the opposition to choose the championship match stipulation. So, if you're not picking up on it, there's a common theme with you lately. Losing. But we're not about to lose the most important match in WWE history. But you know who's all about winning and is a proven commodity? The Viper Randy Orton. So Slade, do what you've done your entire career. Be a team player and fall in line. I was not expecting to see this tonight. Me neither. This is flat out wrong. It's either that or we'll make the decision for you. Don't do it, Slade. Come on. You're better than this. No, no, no. He, he's going to do it. This is absolutely disgusting. What a farce. And here comes the referee to count the pinfall. What a joke. And Randy Orton is your new WWE Champion. Unbelievable. I never thought we'd see WWE Championship change hands like this, but here we are. I'm in shock too, but let's not forget the main event of SummerSlam has just been drastically altered. The challenger has game plan to face Slade, but will now be up against a much different opponent in Randy Orton. I agree, Corey. Beating the deadline was going to be difficult, but it just got significantly harder in my opinion. What do you want? Here to pull another last minute swerve? No, actually the opposite. I'm proposing a gentleman's agreement. I'll be in Randy's corner and you have your backup and yours. But let's agree to keep the others out of this. No one else from either side gets involved in the match. And you expect me to trust you? I'm not sure I can trust you either. But that's how these things work. Where is this even coming from? Our two sides have battled enough leading up to this. It's time to settle it in the ring, one on one. And after we made the switch to Orton, I was confident we could do that. He doesn't need any extra outside help. Do you? No, I don't. But if you're trying to play some kind of 11th hour mind games, it's not going to work. I'm taking your paper champion's title tonight. We won't have to wait much longer to find out, will we? See you out there. You know, this last minute switch to Orton actually reminds me of the time. I was supposed to face the British Bulldog on WCW Saturday night, but then his dog bit him, so I ended up facing Vader instead. But you rolled with the punches and ended up getting the win? Oh no, it completely threw me off and I ended up losing in like 45 seconds. Again, you really need to work on your pep talks. To be fair, you've had a better part of a week to prepare, while I only had about an hour. It's much different. I hope so. It is different. And you are too. 
I've known that since the first time I ever saw you. You had it. As something special I can't be taught, as separated you from the rest. Sure, there's been setbacks along the way, but they've only made you stronger and prepared you for this very moment. And now that you're at the finish line, they go and move it somewhere else. Big deal. You'll cross that line too. It's what you do. Now go out there and win the bloody match. That was a lot better. Ah, you think so? I thought maybe it's a bit much. No, but the time for talking is over. Like you said, now I just need to go out there and win the damn match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. It's the man who's here to beat the deadline. stands between the former Rock and the WWE Championship he's wanted for so long. Don't forget Shawn Michaels, Saxton. He's got just as much to lose as anybody. Nobody's got more to lose than the challenger, Corey. This could be his final match in WWE. Introducing the challenger from Calcutta, India, weighing in at 215 pounds, Tiger. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds. He is the WWE Champion, the Viper.
To hold one of the biggest titles in WWE means you're one of the best in the industry. The chaotic road to SummerSlam is all led to one of the most anticipated matches in WWE history. Randy Orton versus his former protege in an Extreme Rules match for the WWE Championship. But it's more than that, Cole. It's a match between a superstar who left WWE to find himself and came back to win a championship and a living legend looking to cement his legacy as one of WWE's all-time greats. And don't forget the greats joining them tonight, like Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels, who has as much to lose tonight as anyone. No matter how you look at it, this one's huge, and it's all happening right now. Now's a chance for him to get back into this match. Oh, that was nasty. Able to evade. Section sunset flip. Oh, into a power bomb. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Orton ducks the strike. And he counters with the headlock backbreaker. Vintage Randy Orton. Orton's clearly in control now. It looks like he's trying for a top rope hung DDT. His opponent's doing everything he can to counter. And here comes Shawn Michaels with the assist. But Shawn gets taken out. And now the challenger has an opening. Orton charges. Drop to hold into the corner. Meanwhile, all hell is broken loose at ringside. It looks like there'll no longer be a factor in this match. This is now truly one-on-one. -on -one. Or is it? Slade is here. What happened to the gentleman's agreement? It's out the window, clearly. The challenger's in big trouble here. Okay, oh, I'm Randy Orton! What the hell? Did that just happen? Apparently Slade hasn't gotten over being replaced. And that could be enough to end One, this. Two. Orton kicks out. I thought that was it. So did the challenger, but it's going to take a lot more than that to put away the Viper. Nice half kick, great elevation. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Suicide! Tornado oh, DDT! That was nuts. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for your own well-being. Countered it! 
just in time. Hoist it up. Oh, blow to the bread basket. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I like to be. The fight are in bad shape here. Looks like Orton's struggling here. Oh, and he slammed his face right into the barricade. Uh-oh, clearing off the announce table. Oh, this is about to go from bad to worse. This is not going to be pretty. I don't want to see this happen. Boom, what impact. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. Slipping, but he still might have an RKO in his back pocket. Oh, God, anymore. Oh, my God, on the table. What on earth does he have planned here? A little birdie told me bad things are coming this way. Buckle up, everybody, because we might be witnessing one of the most electrifying cash-ins in WWE history at one of the craziest SummerSlams of all time. Sami Zayn has shocked not only the brand new WWE Champion, but he's shaken the WWE Universe to its core. Myself looking for an early pin. He kicks out almost immediately. He might just be trying to frustrate his opponent a little with that attempt. Clinic. How are we going to end it? 
Boom! Harold boots to the face. Taking this one back to the ring now. Short clothesline hits its mark. Oh my goodness. Going for a pen for the championship. No, he kicks out. Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. Uh oh. Just like that, Sammy gets stopped. Look at this. Snap suplex. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Standing Spanish fly, are you kidding me? Incredible. Oh, man. Connects on the kick. Cinder block. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Irish whip, but Sammy reverses. Oh, the newly minted champion hit hard. And Sammy Zayn looks to capitalize. He's setting up for the Haluva kick. This could be it. He moved. He dodged the Haluva kick. With the roll up. Championship after Sami Zayn's shocking cash in. Sami Zayn can't believe it. He thought he picked the perfect moment to cash in. And there goes Sami. Thanks for coming out. And now the champion's faction has come out to congratulate their leader. We talked about how the champion wanted to do everything himself when he first got to WWE, but he wouldn't be experiencing any of this if he hadn't learned to be part of a team and eventually lead one. Some of these men may now be looking for an opportunity to face the new champion, but for tonight at least, it's time to soak this all in and enjoy the moment. And there you see Slade, who had his share of ups and downs with the new champion after being dropped from the title match tonight, but still making his presence known he may also be looking for redemption. But for now, it seems as if he's willing to give his former ally the respect he deserves. Good, because I don't think we or our champion can withstand another impromptu match. Let the man celebrate. He's earned it. He certainly has, Corey. Thank you once again for joining us at SummerSlam. Good night, everybody. Was he stubborn? Definitely. Like right up there with the best of them, including yours truly. And things definitely didn't go as planned. I mean, I haven't been in management for too long, but even I know it's not the intention to fire a top prospect and then go to war with them after they forced their way back into WWE. But at the end of the day, we trusted the process and the results speak for themselves. He lived up to his potential, didn't he? We said he was a future champion, and now he is. We weren't wrong. Did he color outside the lines a bit on his way there? Yes. But that's what the best artists do, and I respect that. I really do. Uh, sorry, but I wasn't actually recording yet. Do you mind saying all of that again?